Hey, well, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to the apiary. It's Chuck. So I was out here working the apiary, and I honestly, I was just checking my supers because the flow is on here in zone 9B. Uh, I've already, they're making honey uh, and making it fast. Um, and I came up to this hive, and of course, I always read my notes, and right there it says 4-1, green, swarm demaray, check cells, 4-8. It's the 8th. So I ran inside and grabbed the camera and figured I got to show this because I have no idea what's going to happen. So if you remember, I had a weak hive and it wasn't doing what I wanted. It ended up having a blue queen that was actually laying some eggs, but I went in and, and I kept my decision anyway. I had a swarm uh, that I wanted to use to boost this hive, but what I did is I put the swarm queen in the bottom. I, I did a small demaray and then the rest of the bees and what all the stuff that was in the bottom up on the top, but I gotta check the cells to cut them out because it's been um, time to cut them out. So anyway, Let's get in here and see what it looks like. I don't know if they're gonna be buzzy or not, so I'm probably just gonna put my hood on. The bees are in a good mood um, because of the, pot, the nectar flow. Uh, but anyway, that just goes to show these notes matter. I'd kind of forgotten what day I needed to check cells. I probably would've figured it out, but anyway, here we go. Let's see what we got. So this is the top of the Demaray that should have the old brood. And I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? This is my ventilated inner cover. I used to use these screened inner covers, but instead I, I'm, I'm it's too much airflow. Um, so I, I flipped it upside down. So that was my entrance. And you can see, yeah, I didn't even remember to, I didn't have enough frames to put in here. I just did like a little swarm. But you can definitely tell they're happy up here. Um, they didn't jump out at me. I hadn't I had to put my hood on yet. Uh, I'll put it on probably before we're done. Dead beetles. Uh, yeah, and I just had foundation up here, so they're not drawing much up here yet. See, they, these are just foundation frames I put up here to let them kind of grow out. I really don't like honey in deeps. Yeah, they are drawing that one out, so they're working. Uh, so this is going to grow just fine. Um, we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I will just put more foundation here and let them draw it out. This may be a great experimental hive uh, if it does start booming to let it let him do it. All right, so here's capped. Oh, look at there. Look at that beauty. Oh man, that's a beauty too. You know, I've got some mini mating nukes over there. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is, that uh, swarm cell. Um, I'm going to try to cut that. I'm going to see if there's any on the other side. I don't see any on this side. Nice hatching cat brood. Can you see the hatching? I'm going to show you. Happy birthday. Right there, she's coming out. All right, anything going on under here? I might need to shake this just to double check there's no cells on this one because I'm gonna see if I can cut this one out. Now, I've talked about this before. Cutting cells on foundation is really pretty difficult because think about it, she laid the egg against the plastic and then they drew it out. So ultimately the back of this queen cell is the bottom of the foundation. So you're really not gonna get it all. But when they're in this stage, and I'll have to look back on my uh, sheet when I uh, decide how old it is. And this is actually, I can do it right now while I'm holding it up. Uh, I did the Demaray on the first. So that would have been graft day. So it should have been capped on the sixth. And today's the eighth. So we are in that exact stage. This is how I try to cut them out. And then you can see if they're unsuccessful or not. Kind of take your hive tool, kind of break all the adjacent wax. I'm going to try to put this in a mini mating nuke that uh, didn't end up coming back successful. So this is just going to be a nice, and then don't try, just use the full width of your hive tool. If you got a smaller hive tool, use a smaller one. I don't have my smaller one. And then go all the way against the foundation and take as much wax as you can. And let me show you. You see, I even kind of pinched it. I'm, I'm going to keep it in the sun. I even kind of pinched it closed. That actually, I think, is going to work. Uh, so I'm going to save that queen cell. And based on her age and the sensitivity of that, um, that oh, look at this. I'm, I'm sitting here watching, and just as I'm watching, look at this one. There's a whole other one up here. Beautiful white wax. I'm going to get that one, too. Queen cells to beekeepers are like... I don't know, what's a good analogy? 
What are queen cells to beekeepers? It's like hope, or starting anew, or, or backup, or what if that is the perfect queen and you, I don't know. It's just kind of the way we think. Very gently pulling that off. Good. Another one. And see how it went all the way down to the foundation? This white wax is really, never starting to buzz me. Hadn't gotten stung yet though. All right, but I'm gonna do a shake here. And because of the shake, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hood over and then I'll zip it up if I have to. All right, so I need to do a shake because I almost missed that second one. You see any more? No, but boy, look at that beautiful white wax. Okay. Go ahead and see. I'm expecting we're gonna have more queen cells on this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe the age just wasn't quite right. Don't see any there. But it hadn't hatched out yet, so this needs to stay in the top. Good. Oh, look at that. I didn't see them, but there they are. Two more queen cells. You gotta do the shake. I didn't see them. Now, see how those are kind of doubled up? I'm not gonna save those. I'm just gonna cut them up. But if, you want to, if you're gonna cut them up, you can also see the age of the pupa in these that you're cutting up, right? Because these are theoretically the same age. So how mature. Oh, look at that. So she sacrificed, but see, she's got legs. This is uh, in the pupil stage. So this is theoretically the age of the queen of those other two cells I've got. You can definitely tell it's a queen, for sure. So, you know, when you're cutting cells and you don't know the age, if you didn't write down the date, cut some of them that look around the same size because more than likely they were all grafted, grafted, created on the same day by the same impulse. Um, see what we got up here. Damn, more. How many is that? See how this one's, it just looks a little different. This is, oh, I opened it up, but you can see the pupa in there too. This one is not quite as mature. This one is still a larva. See that? So somewhere in between that larval and pupal stage, what do we got down here? These are just cups, cups. Ooh, there was one down there, capped. So the ones that were younger were probably eggs when we did this. The ones that were capped and more mature were probably already three and a half day old larvae. And here they're starting to draw out this edge frame too. So this is nice. I got bees in my bonnet. They're coming up. Okay, outstanding. Let me get this queen cell out of the way so I can finish that later. Okay, so now, what would you guys do with this top? It obviously was a successful, uh, with the right brood. I shouldn't say successful anything yet. I still need to see eggs in the bottom. Should I put more foundation? I do think I should put more foundation because these bees, I, I really want honey here, not up here. But at the same time, I need to give them, uh, who knows, if they draw this out, that's not the end of the world. Never heard a beekeeper complain about drawing comb. And, I, you know, these are brand new supers. If they put honey in them for the first year, that's not a big deal, I guess, because it'll be white wax, not the hard, crusty, dark brood comb wax. Okay, so we're going to pop her off. Her. Everything's a she in a beehive, isn't it? All right. This is good. This is uh, what it should look like when they're starting to draw it out. So let's just take a look at the center frame they're working on and see how much honey. Not much. They're drawing. They're working. Nectar, wax. See that little spot right there? This is what my wax crayon is for. Remember that candle mold I told you guys about? If they're having trouble drawing out a spot, give them a little extra wax. So this hive is... Yeah, they're working on this comb. They're getting it ready. Fixing to get ready. So this doesn't need another super in my mind because they're not even putting much honey in here yet. And a good sign down here, kind of a, they're going through the excluder. Now, what do I need to see down here? Remember you guys, when I built this, what's the Demeray based off of? Demeray is based off of giving a queen a lot of laying room so that she can continue to grow out here without the swarm impulse. So now, all I'm really looking for is the evidence of laying 
which means they accepted that swarm queen. Oh wait, there might even be a cage in here. That's right. I gotta check. Yeah, it's a cage. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. This is the bad sign. Okay, so now queen cells in the bottom means maybe they didn't accept her. So we've got to actually decide or find evidence of laying and the queen or if they got more queen cells. There's a chance they just started drawing queen cells because she was in a cage. Uh, it looks like she was released, but let me work my way over there for you guys. Lots of bees. Okay, another cell. This one is not capped. That's Oh, it's just a cup. Now, I do see larvae in here. How many days old could you be? Remember, I just did it on the first. So these could be the previously laid eggs. Can't assume that. I need to see eggs. Because eggs only last for three and a half days. Capped. Another cell, cup. Anything in there? Nope, just a cup. Looking for the queen, looking for eggs. There's not really much room on there for her to lay eggs if she was. There's a nice cluster of bees in the center here that are well behaved that make me think it's queen right. There's my cage. Go ahead and pull it off while I'm looking for the queen. Double check, see, good release, all the candy is gone. Sometimes if they don't release her, the candy could have gotten hard or something like that. She could still be in here. So that would be a scenario they could have made a queen cell if she'd have still been in there. Now looking for eggs. Kind of clusters of bees. No. Nope. Lots of pollen on this frame. Not yet. Now, I'm not going to expect to see a ton of eggs based on how long it took them to release her. Um, so far, the only reason to be concerned is one queen cell. You see her? I don't see her yet. Looking in these cells for eggs. Hatching brood. These are all in the center of the Demeray. So, what I did, remember, was an experiment. I put a queen in a cage, and I even, I think I had the slow release um, tape on the cage. Uh-oh, this is looking better. I think I got much, yep, yeah, I got eggs. Bonus, eggs. Okay, um, I, you know, I can try to show you guys eggs in the sun. I'm just telling you, I've got eggs in there, uh, and the, 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 the couple day old larva, the fact it's been a full week and I see eggs and uh, larva means sh there is a queen in here laying. I no longer need to find her. I believe she was green. But, and if she started on this side, who knows, maybe there'll be a few more eggs over on this side. They're just drawing this out. Storing honey in here, nectar. Eggs, lots of eggs, and this fresh drawn wax. Queens love fresh drawn wax. They will just crawl all over it, and there's eggs in here. Oh, there she is. See that? That little mature green queen? She was a swarm queen. So she is now doing her job. I, if I was gonna dilly-dally, I'd cage her right now, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put her right back in here. I'm gonna squeeze this frame up against her so I don't squisher so she's in between those two frames and now I'm just putting this back together but remember I've got that cell over here uh, was it on this one yep it's right here we'll shake and we'll do the same thing we'll just cut out this beautiful cell and I will put some of these ladies to work I, you know the hit the, the the success rate of hatching from cells like this is lower uh, because I could be moving them in that what's called that sensitive stage where you really shouldn't be moving them. Um, this is so pretty. I'm going to put it in the middle, but I'm going to put it a frame away from where I know she is. So there's no urge or possibility of squishing her. I'm going to keep that hive sensor in the middle though. 
the temperature and humidity sensor there, that uh, brood minder sensor. And it, this is going in the middle ish, closer to the middle than it was. It's got nice drawn wax on it. She can keep laying in. All right, she's in there. So now I am, I'm calling success, guys. My swarm demaray split worked in the fact I took a weakish hive, introduced a new queen, took out the old queen. She's laying her butt off in there, but it doesn't look like she's been laying uh, as long because remember she was in this cage. And just a reminder, this is my 3D printed cage that I made um, and I have this food cup. Oh yeah, there's the tape. Remember I told you I had the tape on, see this electrical tape? So I fill this cup with food. The queen is in there. I tape over it and I put a pinhole in the tape. They eat the tape and then the candy and then she's released. So it takes them an extra day or so to get through that tape. So she probably was in that cage for three to four days, which would make sense with what we saw. Uh, this needs to go in the bottom. And the, you know, in that three to four days could have created that impulse for them to draw out that cell. Um, because I don't know. And it was a new queen. So that the new pheromones and all that sort of stuff. And they had viable eggs, but let me, uh, get that, make sure that is on there. Good. Cause I don't want her laying up top. And then I uh, remember we got this. So this is basically a honey super now with some brood in it. So they need to just draw, draw, draw. And as soon as all that hatches out, she keeps laying, this is gonna grow. So this is a weak Demaray. I would argue that the Demaray part of this was more for queen introduction, splitting, adding a second hive, um, rather than, and you could, a lot of guys commented on my last video and said you could have done that 10 different ways, and I agree with you. I'm putting this on upside down so I have an exit. And then we're putting the lid back on. And we get to say, success here, uh, I can erase my check cells line because I don't need to remember that because I can say, now I'm going to say 488, green queen circle means I saw the green queen. And then I'm going to say cut Q cells, shorthand's important. Sometimes these China markers don't write great if it's been wet. Cut Q cells and I'm just gonna write good something on here positive meaning I'm happy with this good and that's it so there is part two let me show you guys my face and finish this up there is part two of the swarm demaray I don't know we, that's what I'm gonna call it because that's what it was introduced a queen took out the blue queen used her in a nuke she's gonna be doing just fine uh, but I wanted a kind of just give this hive a boost. There is a lot of room in here that they're drawing out. This hive could also be a great brood bomb. Meaning like, if I don't end up selling all my bees because people, you know, are already going and they don't need any more bees, and I've got bees that are exploding over here in these nukes, and I'm like, I've got to take, you know, capped brood out of these three frame nukes, they're going to explode. Guess what? This top box could be perfect for that. You know, I know they're drawing out in here, so I can start taking these frames out and just throw that capped brood in here. Now, if you throw anything with eggs, you've got to rewrite your, your queen cell check. Because you're, I, right now I've made this top box hopelessly queenless. They cannot make a queen cell up top. But if I reintroduce eggs of any type, you've got to write back on here, check for eggs in seven to nine days. Um, and I, but I may do that because, you know, that'll just make this thing really, really strong towards the end of the flow or at the beginning, first week here, second week of flow here. So I'm really liking this technique. I'm going to integrate this Demaray into my entire apiary because it, it gives me some flexibility as long as I've got the deep boxes. And right now I, I have deep boxes because I squeeze them down to singles uh, when I want them to make honey in these supers. Um, yeah. So leave comments below. Let me know what you think of this. Appreciate you guys stick with me. And uh Happy beekeeping. The flow is on here in Zone 9B. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.